all my lovelies welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome on in i hope you choose to stick around now you guys i am fully aware that i am late in the game it's taking me a while to get to this but i'm finally here in this video i'm going to be giving you guys my scream 6 review now like i said i know the movie has been out for a while so i'm a little late but as you guys know i'm a huge fan of scream so i couldn't finish this year off or at least this month off without finally giving you guys my opinion on the Scream 6 movie. Or the Scream, Scream 5 and 6 movie, really. The way I feel about how the franchise is going into a different realm, kind of. So I just want to give you guys my opinion on that. Now before I get into it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps your girl greatly. Now let's go. I'm going to be turning keep building me down. I'm gonna start this video off by saying I enjoy Scream 6. Overall, as a movie, I think Scream 6 was a pretty well-made movie, well-done movie, well-acted movie, all of that. I really enjoy Scream 6. I believe Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I believe they bring something new and fresh to the franchise and they are slowly becoming some of my favorite final girls. Like. I'm really enjoying their performance in these movies so far. I think they're doing a phenomenal job. I think they're doing a great job at carrying this franchise. Not not saying they're the only ones carrying it because I think the whole uh, final four are great. I'll get into that a little bit later, but I think the whole final four is great. But them two as like the main final girls, I think they're doing a great job at carrying this franchise and you know, passing on the torch. I really enjoyed the brutality of this ghost face as well in the sixth film. This ghost face was, now the movie wasn't bloody or gory or anything like that, but the brutality of this ghost face was crazy. I don't think I've ever seen ghost face be that brutal in a screen movie before. I mean, in screen two, when Randy died, Ghostface was pretty, you know, in there. But other than that, I don't really, I can't really think of a moment where, um, excuse me, where Ghostface was like super brutal and just, like every kill in this movie was just in your face, like painful, like it was crazy. It was crazy. I really enjoyed that the core four survived. I know some people wish the movie had more balls and that they killed off a main character like they did in Scream 2 with Randy. I get it. And to this day, you guys, I am still pissed that Randy died. I'm still pissed about that. So I prefer my final, um, like the core four, I prefer them to all be alive. Now in the future, they decide to kill off a main character. Hey, that's their decision, obviously. But for me personally, I like that the core four survived. I like all my main characters to be there with me. I wanna finish the journey off with all of my main characters. So yeah, I'm still pissed about Randy. So I'm gonna talk about it every chance that I get. I think they did a really good job of using New York as a setting. I think that was a great job on the production team's part and the scenery people's part. Um, I like that it wasn't in Woodsboro anymore. I like that we have a change of scenery and they use New York really well. I especially love the subway scene. I think they did a really good job at shooting that. So I really love the new setting, the new area that we're in. My last two positives of this movie is that the movie is still very meta, which works for this franchise. You know, that's their thing. Screen movies are known for being very meta. So that works for them. And this new cast of characters, especially the core four, they are very capable of carrying this franchise in like even in the future. So even in future movies that we get of Scream, I think that this core four are very capable of carrying this franchise. So if we don't have so I know it's a big thing with Nev Campbell not being there, which I mean, Nev Campbell is Scream. Like when you think of Scream, you think of Nev Campbell. Like the two things you think of when you think of the movie Scream is Ghostface, that mask, and Nev Campbell, Sydney Prescott. So I completely understand people's hiccups about her not being in the movies. Now, if she decides to come back eventually, like in future movies, I'm all for it. I love Nev Campbell. I'm always down to see Nev Campbell. But even if she doesn't come back, if they can't figure out their disputes or whatever the case may be, I think that this new cast of characters, they are very capable of carrying this movie in the future. I'm okay with Nev Campbell not coming back. Like I said, she is going to be greatly missed. 
when you think of Scream, think of Nev Campbell, but if she decides not to come back, I think that'll be okay. And plus this movie is going in a whole different direction anyway. Like we're getting a whole new cast of characters. We're getting a whole new change of scenery. It's just this movie is moving in a different direction. So I think it might even be better for us to stick with what we have now, the core four, and just let them make it their movie, you know? Like let them be the stars of this movie now. So that's just my opinion. Now onto my negatives. Now, like I said, overall, I loved this movie. This movie was great, enjoyed it. So my negatives really aren't that big of a deal. It's just some things that I felt like, eh, I could have done without. So my first negative is Gail was not needed. Like I was saying previously, this new cast of characters are doing a phenomenal job at carrying the movies on their own. I can do without the original main cast. I can do without them. So I feel like Gail was really not a necessity to this movie. Honestly, her scenes just felt, they just kind of dragged to me, you know? I really didn't need Gail in this movie. My next negative would be guessing who Ghostface was was too easy. It was too, and I usually, now, usually guessing who Ghostface is, for me personally, is not that hard, but sometimes I'll second guess myself. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's not them, maybe it's them. You know, like in the fifth movie, I did not guess who Ghostface was. That was, I did, I couldn't guess it. That, I'm gonna say that right now. I did not guess who Ghostface was in the fifth movie. But in this sixth movie, it was pretty obvious. Like, it was super obvious. Now that's leading into my next negative with guessing who Ghostface was, how easy it was. The motive for these ghost faces, yeah, it's more than one, by the way. By, by the way, y'all should have already seen this movie. I'm not gonna spoil it, but y'all should have already seen this movie. It's more than one ghost face. But their motivation, like their motive was, it was not a good motivation. Like, it, I don't think it was a good enough motive to go after people. I did not like the reason why they decided to become Ghostface. It was dumb to me. The new side characters in this movie did not get enough time to have character development. And I really did not care if they lived or died. That's just me. I had no attachment to these characters. Maybe that's what they were there for. Maybe they were throwaway characters. So, you know, just to have a few more kills under Ghostface's belt. But yeah, I really didn't care for these new side characters. They weren't all that to me. Well, you guys, that concludes my review of the Scream 6 movie. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below in the comments how you felt about this movie and what's your rating of it. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.